Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. We are at the crossover in the Gez... something's grotto. <laughs> As mentioned a bunch of times in previous episodes... Oh, this guy's still alive. You need bells in order to get through the locked doors in this area, like this. Because that makes sense, but whatever. Something a little different than just getting keys. Okay, we're going to be fighting some black mages. Uh, we've already fought the black waltzes before. And we've seen these mages running around. Oh crap, Vivi's unconscious. <laughs> oh jeez, I used a tent. I thought that would revive him, but it didn't. Anyway, we've seen the Black Mages before. This is the first time we're fighting any of the normal Black Mages. Ooh, stole a Phoenix down. I can revive Vivi now. <laughs> He's barely alive. What? Gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Take him out. Let's try eating it. I don't know if you can. Humanoid characters you usually can't use the eat command on. Yeah, you can't do it here. It's worth a shot anyway. Okay, they've been pretty much beating us over the head with this up until now. It's pretty much without doubt, though, what is going on. Kill! The first time that we encounter the Black Mages, the, uh... Oh, there's two passageways. We found that they were being uh, constructed basically out of mist in Dali. And they were being built for... They were being constructed in order to be used by Alexandria. 
Now we found some evidence, like when we were in the mist earlier, that Alexandria is using the Black Mages as weapons. They're obviously created as weapons. I mean, there are these friggin' magic-wielding monsters that are running around cutting things up and all that shit. Setting things on fire and all that. And for the most part, the Black Mages seem to lack any sort of uh, agency of their own. They're just little more than monsters, although we did see some... We did manage to see a little bit of evidence to suggest that maybe the Black Mages aren't all just mindless creatures, you know, other than Vivi and the, and the uh, Black Waltzes. That kind of stuff. But for the most part, the other ones seem to lack a mind, although there are, like, hints of their own existence inside of their, their heads. We haven't really seen much of that. So, the Black Mages aren't operating on their own here. They're being created for Alexandria, and the presence of Zorn and Thorn here make it pretty clear that Alexandria is, in fact, attacking, and this isn't just some sort of mistake that's going on here. What the hell is that? <laughs> trying to look pretty. Eh. It's the kind of thing that I'd steal from and try to eat. You can do better than that. Come on, Vivi. Might! Up, oh, it's gaining attack power. Time to take this some bitch down. Try uh up oh, Vivi's out. And I'll give it another try in a little bit. Raising attack power again. Gain more attack power. I guess eventually this thing will become unstoppable. If I allow it to gain its attack power enough times, it'll become invincible, you know? Or, I mean, like, it'll just crush any character immediately. I gotta be careful of that. It's doing it again. It's gonna attack with Zidane and Freya, and have Quinna do Eat Command until it's dead. Or I'm dead. Quinn is down. Oh, wow, over a thousand points of damage. And it's dead. Using the E command can be dangerous, apparently. Not to say that there was really any, uh, any thought that we were mistaken. I mean, uh, history of this world does tell us that, uh, Magus Hat does tell us that back before the invention of the airships, the various countries in this world were warring with each other over the various um, limited resources that the world had to offer. Which is why we, um... Hold on, cutscene.
All right, touch your chest. Got another bell. It's a couple of uh. Shit. Anyway, what I was saying, the the war has been over for. Ah, oh, damn it. The war has been over for maybe um, forty years or so. But that doesn't mean, like, it's a long time that they were fighting, potentially hundreds of years. And the wars potentially lasted for hundreds of years. And it's possible that the only reason why the wars ended is because the original need for the war is over. There's no need to, there's no need to fight because resources are more plentiful and that airships exist more, uh, reasonable or whatever. So just removing the reason for the war and removing the reason for war doesn't necessarily mean you've removed all of the old hatreds that came about from it. Centuries of potentially cent potentially centuries of fighting a war can breed a lot of hatreds and a lot of tension between ethnicities or, or countries or whatever. Doesn't mean that you've ended the huh, doesn't mean you've ended the fighting. Not really. Alright, <laughs> crazy bastard. Oh! Save! Haha, <laughs> the chocolate about me, I love it. Oh, you don't have any letters for me, do you? Hmm, okay. Holy Bell! Sounds like he has an addiction problem. Boss battle time. This is the Gozamaze Bejibi thingy, whatever. Now, like all boss battles in this game, or at least most of them, I'm going to spend a little bit of time trying to steal from it. Ooh, look at that. There's a secret to fighting this guy, though. Um... You can blind it. It's blinded, so now its attacks can be substantially less effective. Uh, it's magical to find, though. Okay, um, I'm also I'm gonna be stealing from it. I got a list of all the items that it has, so I know it's stuff that I want. Oh wow, Pina took a good hit there. Oh, nice damage. Haha. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna wanna attack it too much. Oh, got the elixir. I'm gonna want to just have my characters defend, except for Zidane. Oh, Quinna protected, uh, or Freya protected Quinna there. Have all my characters defend uh, while Zidane steals. So that way they can take the hits that, uh, 
I don't want them all just taking a crap ton of damage while I'm stealing. <sighs> Jeez, the steal rate in this game is so pathetic. There are three items I can take from this thing. Elixir, an ice staff, and a Megas hat. And I'm thinking about cutting the camera until we can get that. Look at the way Quinna defends. It's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna cut the camera. Okay, I've given up. I'm not gonna get the ice staff. I've tried, um... I've tried stealing ten friggin' times, so I've and I can't friggin' get it. So I'm just gonna kill the damn thing and just friggin'. I'm out of friggin'. Uh, I'm out of healing items. That's how long I've been doing this. It was like twenty some, twenty some uh, turns since I shut the camera off, and I managed to get the friggin', I managed to get the friggin' steeple hat, but not the. Icing, and now Phoebe's fucking uh, silenced. Oh, come on. Freya tranced, so I sent her up on a, a jump. She'll launch multiple attacks from up there, but let's see, look at that. Uh, she's removed from potential damage, but I think I could actually lose the fight while she's up there. So I gotta be careful. And Phoebe's almost useless now. <laughs> Ooh, nice damage there, Quinna. Freya, you gonna help me out here? Baby's almost out of it. Up, oh, up, nope, she's back down. And dropping out of trance. Of course you couldn't steal any of them. You shouldn't even be trying anymore. Down goes Quinna. Ah, uh, here goes water. That's taking Zidane down. Damn it. This thing better be close to death. I understand that stealing should be fairly, like, difficult to pull off, because, you know... Oh, it's attacking everybody! Shit! Stealing should be fairly difficult to pull off, but they went way overboard with this game. No reason why stealing should be as difficult to do as it is in this game. Just hit the thing. Just attack the thing, physical attacks. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm dead. Great. Okay, I got all of the stuff actually pretty early this time. So I'm gonna jump into um, fighting this thing off, and I'll probably do a much better job this time around. Zidane can immediately go into attacking, because I got all three items. Just have to make sure their health doesn't drop too far. Vivi can focus on using thunder attacks, do some pretty good damage there. Zidane can finally use his frickin' double-bladed sword to start kicking some ass. Hopefully I don't even have to trance. I can save that for later. Yep, it's getting serious. Nice damage there. Like I was saying before, I mean, the stealing mechanics in this game are all screwed up. You could say, I was sitting here and I was literally just doing nothing but steals for 10 minutes until I ran out of items and couldn't maintain that anymore. I'm gonna have to... I just want to make sure that my characters 
don't all run out of... don't want to all run low on HP, because, I mean, this thing's going to start doing its massive uh, whole party water attack soon, and I don't want to uh, find myself getting all my characters knocked out simultaneously by that. Oh, 602. Oh, fight's won, though. We win.